Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've seen prices dropping on the FIFA 23 market for almost a week now, but how will we know when these prices just get too low? It's a bit of a tricky situation, but today I want to talk to you guys about some cards that might get too cheap before the end of the week, and they will end up going upwards in price this weekend as we head towards what we believe is the footies promo so we're going to talk a lot about that today and what to expect on this game today on hopefully a content filled tuesday if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new let's look back to yesterday of course with the content that we had it wasn't that amazing we we're actually a little bit underwhelmed with the sbc content that we had now we did have the 82 plus player picks return which is very very nice and man i opened a few yesterday and they were not good but i'm going to be doing these during the week to at least give myself a chance at packing shapeshifter cards because let's be honest guys this is the last week of fifa where we're going to have an insane promo team in packs that is not re-release -re cards or um cards from older promos it is new cards that have just been introduced to the game uh, unless we have summer heat or one other promo coming later on this year as of right now these are the best cards in the game with footies approaching so um i'm gonna do some player picks this week and i will say i do have a little bit of a tip for you guys if you're trying to craft the comma vinga objective i would make sure to tell you guys to do the silver shifting upgrade i think this is falling a lot under the radar you can do it 10 times a day for your 11 gold players pack if you've got bronzes in your club you can put them into the prime bronze upgrade to get rare silvers and then of course you can turn those rare silvers into this uh or sorry you turn those rare silvers into the shapeshifters crafting upgrade um yeah, after you do the silver shifting upgrade. So you go prime bronze upgrade into the silver and then into the shapeshifters crafting upgrade. That's kind of something you can do and you can get bronze cards through BPM. So it's like, Nate, why would I do BPM in July? But it's actually a really fun way to kind of grind the menus right now and get that comma vinga done pretty easily. So make sure you're doing that. Now also yesterday, 85 times seven. I think this is worse than the 84 times 10. And I think it comes down to the price of this SBC. And the fact that this is the only other SBC that we had yesterday released on this game. And we're not even able to do it again today on Tuesday. We have to wait until Wednesday to be able to do this SBC once more time. Um, and guys, the price here, man. What are we doing, EA Sports? Um, an 84 rated squad with three 85s. Which, by the way, 85s are exploding on the market because of this. And then an 86 rated squad beside that is crazy for an 85 times 7 which is undoubtedly going to give you at least three or four 85s and then your chance at maybe a shapeshifters card oh i opened mine yesterday didn't get anything besides one walkout and then 85s right so this is of course a very um not surprising 87 percent downloaded sbc on this game but like we said it did make some fodder explode specifically the 85s right last week they required 387s this week they require 385s and these cards are going to the moon they're up basically 3,000 a card 9,500 is where they were at I believe at their peak earlier in the day right around this SBC when it was at its max completion per, um, percentage but from 6,500 to 9,500 coins is a crazy crazy rise there 84s 83s up a little bit 86s just up a little bit as well but the rest of the fighter market continues to be in the absolute mud it is crazy without the lack of demand or with the lack of demand um and a lot of supply on these really high rated cards 87s 88s 89s just continue to drop in price and really guys it's because these team of the season cards are getting so cheap we can do the tots upgrade pack every single day a lot of people are still doing that and the fodder prices on this market are crazy now the good thing about fodder always is it rises if you give it the time, right? We talked about that during team of the season. It was really low. It did, of course, end up rising in due time. If you're invested in fodder cards still, let's say you bought 88s. We talked about that this weekend. If you are still invested in those 88 rated cards, I would tell you to hold. I really would because it could be today, right? Last week on Tuesday, we had the end of an era Conte, which moved some fodder. There could be another type of SBC today, not an end of an era, but um, another player SBC or specifically another pack SBC. BC for like a player pick like a 92 plus shapeshifters that sort of thing could be dropping on the game today or tomorrow on Wednesday that could still make fodder go up and if at very least you're waiting until this weekend you could but if nothing comes out today or tomorrow and you want to take the cash and you don't want to risk it I understand uh, but it is very unfortunate that the team of the season 
uh, cards are just going down and down and down and pushing this fodder down. It's really, it's the lack of content and the lack of SBCs that is making this go down, which rarely happens, but this week it is. So that's kind of the situation on fodder right now. It's just very unfortunate that we don't have an icon pack and it's crazy. This is like one of the first times in a long time that we have not had one of those. So let's talk about the market a little bit more, kind of the premise of this video, right? We've seen the market being panic sold. We see these prices getting lower and lower every single day. And a lot of you guys have been saying in the comments and even as we've been talking and looking at prices on stream, it's like, Nate, this market is absolutely muddy. Like Kavicha is 700,000 coins. As I take a look at some of the other team of the season cards that we've been looking at, Dybala is low 400,000 coin range. I mean, all the Tots cards, Neymar is 2.4. Ronaldo's actually up a little bit. He's 1.9. He was under 1.8. So he's back up just a little bit. I do believe that he will come down again. Don't worry. But a lot of your TOTS cards, uh, Musiala yesterday was like 600,000 coins. That was the lowest that I had seen him. The market continues to be absolutely mudded. And this is a must-have conversation. If you're like, Nate, why are we talking about the market this much at this stage of the game? We talked about it yesterday, right? Cards dropping off 50% or more in value. I mean, think about how many more SBCs you could do, whether it's player picks, how many more upgrade packs you could do, like a 92-plus player pick if they release that. If you're not losing three, four, five hundred thousand coins in the next two weeks on cards in your team, you're going to be able to use those coins to buy other players, other cards, or do more SBCs. Coins are always king in this game. But back to the point, there is coming a time in this week where the panic will stop, right? We've seen panic selling, we've seen prices drop every single day of like the past week on this game. And there's going to be a point where that stops and cards will start to go back up in price. But why is this going to happen specifically on some cards? I want to take you guys through what happened last year because I think it's going to be basically the same sort of thing that happens this year and even to a bigger extent this year with what we have going on this game. So we've got footies upcoming, right? That's the hope. We don't have many leaks yet. We're still looking out for the potential news on footies and the confirmation of that. But we, we know about footies is we're getting a re-release of cards and packs, right? We're talking about probably some cards like Team of the Years and some of the older promos, but also we think about Team of the Seasons and Shapeshifters getting re-released back into packs. Well, let me take you back to not just last year, but last year in FIFA 22 and the year before that, where we didn't have any Team of the Season cards released in Batch 1, the first week of footies uh, in FIFA 21 or 22. It was all Team of the Year and some of those, basically every single promo before Team of the Season was represented by promo cards in packs in Batch 1. And same thing in FIFA 21, right? You had Team of the Year's, Headliners, Road to the Finals. That year we had Foot Birthday, we had Foot Freeze, we had the What If promo, right? With that Conte card. Last year we had Fantasy Cards, Headliners, Future Stars, Team of the Year's, even some informs in there. Team of the Group Stage, the Adidas Joao Felix was even re-released in packs. But if you go down this list of players that were all re-released in packs, there was not a single team of the season card. And last year, what happened on this first week of footies is everybody was panic selling just like this year. Everybody is panic selling team of the season cards. All of these prices are dropping, dropping, dropping like crazy. But then some of them actually ended up rising because those cards were not re-released in packs. And the cards that were released in packs, it's like, okay, this set of players in packs is not that amazing for what we expected when we think of a best of re-release and prices actually started to go back up. Now, which players are we talking about in this year's game? Which players are going to go back up in price? Which ones are going to get really, really low and then go back up? In my opinion, the only cards that I would really want to mess with would be shapeshifters, right? Team of the Seasons, you would think would be really good to trade with as well. But guys, these are in packs tradable every single day through that Team of the Season upgrade pack. I know they've dropped off a ton. And yeah, some of these guys like Messi, who doesn't have a better card than this right now in this game being 2.2 mil, he continues to just drop off day after day. 2.4 on Sunday, right? Yesterday, how low did he go? He went to 2.1, right? He's back up just a little bit. Some of these cards, man, they're still going to go lower this week because they're getting supplied and they're getting supplied for the next like 20 days, right? It's only going to be a little bit, of course. Not everybody's packing messy from that TOTS upgrade pack every single day. But that's the thing right now with these cards. Like Musiala was 600K. He, he's now 660. So there's fluctuation 
but these guys are still getting supplied and there's still panic selling to come. So I would focus on when you're thinking about cards to watch this week, if you're purely trying to buy somebody for your team, I would focus on the top tier of team of the season cards and shapeshifters, guys. I made crazy coins last year on the first day of footies on shapeshifters that were panic sold. And guys, I will say this again, there's going to be more panic selling this week once we see footies confirmed on a loading screen footies tweeted out and confirmed as a leak that's going to create another wave of panic and i do believe you're going to see card prices especially on some shapeshifters drop a bit lower as we get towards this friday if it actually is footies and then you'll be looking at opportunities to buy right now on a tuesday yeah, we've seen a lot of panic, uh, but most of the panic has been on team of the season cards, right? And again, there's two levels of panic here, the selling and also the tradable supply that is uh, supplying these cards in packs. So those are a bit tricky, but that's kind of the thing I want you guys to understand is if there's cards that you want for your team. Now, I'm not telling you right now that these guys are going to go crazy prices. I know, you know, Harry Maguire is a very, very popular card on this game. Do I believe Harry Maguire is going to go crazy, crazy high, like to, you know, triple quadrupling his price? Not that much, right? But some of these shapeshifter cards, maybe it's like a, a very rare card. Last year, remember, shapeshifters Rashford went up like 300K on the footies Friday um, because he was a very rare card that a lot of people wanted to use. Big name player. And uh, he linked with some of the cards that we had just gotten. We had that Luis Diaz um, premium footies card. There's a lot of um, Premier League links that were very hyped around that time. You know, maybe you look at a guy like Mares or Frankowski or Anthony Martial or some of those middle to high tier cards like even Manuel Neuer or Zaha, right? Very popular cards that are in the Shapeshifters promo team. Put those on your radar. Or if you're looking to buy a card for your team, watch the panic selling on these types of cards this week because also these are the most meta cards and the best stats for cards in this game right now. And that's why it always is an L or it kind of seems like an L every year when EA releases this batch one of footies and it doesn't have any shapeshifters, team of the season cards inside of it. Now it will have some team of the years, which if a team of the year Messi, who's 98 rated, is back in packs, right? Messi this year is 98 rated as well for his team of the year. If this team of the year comes back in packs, is it going to hurt the price of the team of the season? Yeah, probably, because they're about the exact same card. But for other cards that don't have that same scenario where they have two of the same cards at a very high rating, so just for basically all the cards that are in team of the year, but the cards that are not that scenario are um, probably going to have a, a little bit of a bounce back if it's rare, if it's popular, and if it is meta. So I don't want to belabor the point there, but uh, I don't think it's buy time yet. I think that some of the prices that have rebounded slightly, uh, it's just because you have fluctuations and panic selling. You see this all the time during market crashes. If you've never witnessed too many market crashes before, this is really common, right? Uh, Cristiano was 1.95. He was one point. 8 mil 1.78 i think i saw was around his lowest earlier today neymar i believe was under 2.2 or sorry he was under 2.3 i think he was like 2.29 or like that was near his lowest right now he's 2.45 so he's up a little bit right he's going to continue to get packed he's going to drop a bit lower before we get to friday so i would not panic yet uh friday is also going to be a big day to make coins so not to belabor the point even more but that's kind of what i am envisioning for this market and that's something that i really wanted to inform you guys about as we head on out through this week and get closer um to a footies friday of just where to put your expectations for what cards are going to be in packs and how that's going to impact the market so with all that being there let's talk about today on tuesday because will we actually get some leaks about footies will we get some news about footies this year well kind of funny you may wonder that because it was on this exact tuesday one year ago where we actually learned that we had the first tweet of footies now you may see this tweet and remember this was kind of like a false start false alarm last year sheriff tweeted out footies um, and then we actually still had a shapeshifters team for but for a promo as big as footies, I would not be surprised if the hype is starting to be built for that even earlier than normal, right? We think about loading screens on Wednesdays. We think about loading screens on Thursdays. They've happened on Tuesdays in the past. So at some time between today, tomorrow, and Thursday, there's probably going to be a loading screen for the next promo. We do think that it's going to be footies, but watch out for the leaks on Twitter as well because those guys are going to probably have the information first before a loading screen so I'd watch out very, very close for that. And, and maybe some leaks about 
uh, what content we could be having today as well. I know we had the end of an era Conte last week. Still, EA needs to give us an end of an era Zlatan. We would all absolutely love that. But we've had some pretty close leaks recently, like the Kamavinga was leaked the same day that he was released. And you think about some of these shapeshifter SBCs, like Trent Alexander-Arnold wasn't even leaked as an SBC player, and he got an SBC on Friday. There could very well be an SBC player today. Tuesdays are commonly days where that does happen. So I would watch out for that. Uh, and also the hero player pick goes away today. And I have a hope that this SBC is going away today because something better is going to be coming in and replacing it. Maybe it's an icon pack. Maybe it's that 90 plus Brazil, French and Dutch icon pack that we've been talking about every single day that we all really, really want. Or it's something even better. Maybe like a 92 plus shapeshifters, something along those lines. That's why I still have a little bit of hope for some type of nice SBC today on this game because this SBC is expiring. Of course, you get the refreshes of just about everything. The tots or tots moment upgrade, your daily login, all that good stuff. The 86 plus player pick refreshes today as well. So um, actually, was it the year in review player pick that came out this last Tuesday as well? It was either Monday or Tuesday for that SBC, I think, if I remember correctly. So, you know, there's potential for SBC content today, but it does seem, oh, the 81 plus tradable team of the week refreshes today. Okay, interesting. Today might be an interesting day of content. It really could be now we'll have to watch out for that of course i'm doing player picks to stock up on fodder because you're gonna need some fodder to do all those sbcs and at least want to give myself a chance to pack and shape shifters while i'm doing that i'd also like to point out the store there are still some other store packs that could be dropped i feel like ea might be saving some of those crazy store packs that we saw earlier on um with the pack code that was like containing three or four players and they were all like from Trophy Titans or um, Team of the Season. Uh, what was that pack again? Yeah, contains three players from Tots, Tots Moments, or Trophy Titans. I don't know if they would drop a random pack like this on a Tuesday. I could see them refreshing maybe like the four or 500K packs or specifically the 500K pack in the store. So watch out for that. And other than that, guys, we'll have to see. It really, it hinges upon what SBC content we get today to make this game at least somewhat fun today. Keep grinding the cup. Keep grinding those Kamavinga objectives. There's a lot to do, technically, if you think about it. If you're doing Kamavinga, the daily login, the shapeshifters cup games for the good packs, objective players, getting XP if you're still grinding that like I am. There is plenty to do on this game, but also it is July. So EA, I hope you spice it up today. Give us something nice. And uh, yeah, it'd be a good day of Tuesday content on this game. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think about footies and what you guys think about this market because it is pretty crazy. We did make some good coins yesterday on Kyle Walker, bought all those for about 120 or less and sold them all for around 140. And now he's like 100,000 coins, which is crazy for that car to be that price. But it is the end game. And what do we know about the end game? Prices do get pretty cheap on most cards eventually throughout the course of this summer. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan Account. I'll see you guys on stream tomorrow. I will not be on stream today, but I'll see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday for another video and a stream. Peace.